welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about CS 7.1, which is the latest version of the Case Sorter project. There's a bunch to talk about. There's been a lot of improvements and I'm excited to go through them. So let's jump right in. So you're probably asking, well, what's new? So let's go through the highlights of the changes that have been made in this CS 7.1 system. Some of the notable changes we've made is that we've flattened out the base. And so now we're using M6 screws to work as an axle that also that drives the uh, feed wheel and the tension cam. And then we use a bearing around that to tighten things up quite a bit. We've improved the camera housing, removed the threads, added a fan that works as an air shield to keep dust out of the camera. But by removing the threads, we made it much easier for us to add and remove the camera to clean it out if we need to or, or to make small adjustments. We've also added a dimmer on the on the uh, backlight ring inside of the camera. This makes it much easier to get a good picture. We've also removed the top lid from the classifier. This allows us to use this bracket and the bracket allows us to have better adjustments, easier to clear the system when there's a jam. We can add attachments to it to extend the functionality of the system. So all in all, it, it makes the system easier to use. On the sorter base, we've made that more modular. And so there are attachments or layers of attachments on that. You can use it without any ramps. You can use it um, just as a standalone sorting arm, or you can add the eight slot ramp as seen on my machine here, or you can use the old style, which was the 10 hole pipe bracket like we had before. There's also been a ton of software improvements. I've already released a video on that, but since uh, the last video, which I think was version 15, um, we've made quite a few bug fixes and enhancements on the machine learning side. So I think we're now at uh, version 1.0.21, which is the latest available in the repo. Also, for those of you who are not in the Discord already, there is a link inside of the uh, reloadingrecipes.com project page. Once you've signed up for an account, you'll be able to see that and get a link to join the Discord server where you can talk to me as well as uh, the builders, many of the builders who have been working on this and contributing ideas. So it's a great place to get support as you're building this project yourself. So let's talk a little bit about the community contributions. So the first one I want to look at is the light shade. This I before in the build series, you'll see as you watch it, uh, I was using nuts, whether they're lock nuts or wing nuts or just regular M6 nuts. And that was a bit tedious. So Carl from the community designed this really cool uh, slip over uh, locking light shade that's quick change. So I really like this feature. It definitely makes it easier to change things out. The next thing is, is there's a couple different bin designs and um, this one was from uh, Silver Bullet out of Sweden. So hello Sweden. Uh, really cool. It's a, a, a new bin that has, we call it the holy bin, but it has these changeable name tags. And so one of the things we, you know, you can uh, print out, he's, he's, pretty much created a name tag for almost every head stamp that I can think of. And you can print those out and just slip those down. Now I took a, a Sharpie on the raised bits on this bin and blackened them so you could see the letters. But I think this is just a really cool design. And it looks really awesome in gold. So the last community contribution is called Airdrop. And this is the sort of gold attachment you see it snaps right onto the feed bracket requires that you have an air compressor and you have to buy a solenoid an, an air solenoid but what it allows us to do is sort much faster one of the speed limitations of this system is gravity and so as we drop the brass down the sort tube we have to wait for it to clear so if we add a little air blast there that happens much faster and so with the airdrop system, we can go from sorting at, say, 3,500 pieces per hour to closer to 7,500 or, or more, depending on how fast your computer is that's running the uh, software. 
So definitely an improvement for those of you who have the need for speed and just want to sort a lot of brass more quickly. Very cool. That was, um, the idea came from Richard F in the community. So um, I really like it and it's available. Uh, we'll be documenting more about how to do it in the GitHub repo. So check that out. It's Right now it's in the community contributions folder under uh, my name. Idea came from Richard. I uh, designed the parts and, and we worked together to figure out the electronics side. So there is a build series. I mentioned a build series. I have taken the time to put together four videos that cover building the classifier, um, the sorter, the camera module, and the electronics. So for those of you who um, are interested in this project, you'll check out the build series. I'll put links to that in the description of this video. And um, another great resource in the GitHub repo at the root of the repo, there's an instructions PDF file. So in that file, I have also covered all the details for building the project as well as the parts list at the end of the file. So if you scroll all the way down to the end of the instructions PDF, you'll see a giant list of parts and, and where you can buy those. So I want to talk a little bit about the future of this project. I'm looking at CS71 as pretty much the final version of this that I'm going to build. There may be future tweaks and refinements, but I think it does everything that I had set out to do or to accomplish for this and does it pretty well. And it's easy for people to um, pick up and, and take on themselves. And that was really my goal here. I'd like to pivot and shift toward the software side and keep working to improve the software. And so that's going to be going forward my main focus. On the software side of things, I would like to connect the community of builders in a way that they can share models and assets, uh, you know, pictures of head stamps to create their own models and kind of automate some of the process around uh, easy model creation for this. And so that's going to be my focus going forward and just looking forward to seeing, you know, what comes of this project. I'm really um, excited about the community that's formed here and really happy to see so many people who have, who have taken on this project successfully. Thank you for following this channel and watching this video. We're going to leave with some pictures and videos of some of the other machines that have been built by the community um, in this project. I hope you enjoy.